Okay, we're here at the Hit Factory with uh, legendary light heavyweight champion Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. Eddie, thank you so much for coming on Fight Saga and sharing your views. Uh, you had a sensational story that broke on the site this morning about your team and your people have made this uh, offer to Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao to fight. And uh, you know, there, there's just a couple questions that have been left unanswered. Um, you and your uh, crew want this fight to take place in November. Could you explain why? Well, very simple. It's a, uh, economically, it would be uh, feasible to make more money that way for the simple reason <clears throat> that we can have a stadium, outdoor stadium built, because you got to remember, I mean, you got indoor stadiums like the MGM Grand, that's not going to hold no more than 20,000 people. You know, this is the biggest fight ever. So we have to act like this is the biggest fight ever. So it would behoove the promoter, whoever it is, to build an outdoor stadium to maximize the earning potential of the fight. Okay. Um, you had mentioned something that was really interesting earlier. You were talking about um, the other possibilities that were revenue streams that Floyd Mayweather Jr. could tap into if he signed on with you guys. Well, you know, he doesn't have to necessarily sign on with uh, my guys, but <clears throat> this is what I do. You know, I mean, I've been blessed to have the doors open to me in a lot of various ways. You know, I can, you know, make Floyd yeah. an awful lot of money, awful lot amount of money, not even fighting on pay-per-view. There's ways to do that. You know, I have ways, I'm just waiting to really have another sit down with Floyd and his people to see if he like the concept. You know, but it, there's different ways to, to make money besides pay-per-view. Now you, I, everybody knows that you starred in the, moving, in the movie Raging Bull and Body and Soul, and you've, you've got a lot of connections in Hollywood. Robert De Niro's a good friend of yours, and Joe Pesci and these guys. You, what, what could you do with Floyd? I mean, would you like to get him involved in film? or? Well, Floyd's a very charismatic person. You know, he has a charm about himself that people don't see. But you have to really, if, if I was in charge of Floyd's career, what I would do is, <clears throat> the first thing I would do is to put him on network TV so everybody that has a TV that can't afford pay-per-view can watch Floyd and we do a 24-7 on network TV about Floyd and they would get a chance to really, really get in, involved and get, it, get to be a part of Floyd. That's what he needs, you know. A lot of people can't afford HBO, Showtime, things like that. How's he? How's he gonna get paid doing that though? Because if he's gonna make 50 mil from this commercial endorsements, okay. And there's a, another way also that he can get that money up. But you know, like I said, I have to sit down with Floyd to show him. Okay. But believe me, there's ways Gosh. that he can make just as much money doing network TV okay. than always fighting on pay-per-view. Now you've put this offer together um, and, and you've reached out to uh, Leonard Ellerby and, and Sam Watson and Al Heyman. Have any of those guys gotten back to you or wh where are we at with your offer? Well, I spoke to uh, uh, Sam Watson. And he didn't get back to me last night, so I, I made, took it upon myself to call Al Heyman. Yeah. Okay. I left my name and number. Yeah. Okay. Funny thing about uh, about three months ago at a fight at Texas Station, Al Heyman was there. He had his heavyweight yeah, fight, and uh, I've been knowing Al for a while, so you know, we sat and talked, and he says, "You know, champ." We've been in this game a long time. We're getting old. We got let's make this money and retire. And I said, okay, Al, I'm going to do that. Little did he know, mm -hmm. I was going to bring his fighter 
the his biggest deal that he ever saw. <laughs> Interesting. So okay. I called him up to let him know, Al, we're getting old. <laughs> Let's go do this. Okay, great. All right, well, uh, well, we'll come back to you and keep uh, all the Fight Saga fans updated on the on the uh, on this uh, offer as it moves forward and uh, hopefully comes to fruition. Thanks so much for your time, Eddie. You're very welcome. Okay.